We're always trying to, to cross over with music, sculpture, painting, uh, performance, uh, plays. And that's really our mission all together, is really to bring all of those arts together. And that is the thing that we have the opportunity to do here. People really interact with, with sculpture and and you know when you have pieces hanging in the middle of a room I think it, it, it's an exciting performance. They can interact with the artist, they interact with the audience, they interact with the work, especially when it's it's large, you know, installation work like this. When you've got the musicians in, it just adds another layer to everything that people that can really get involved with the show, that love music, that love art, and it just it gives, it gives them the depth to the show that you really need. I think that it all comes into play that no matter what art form you're doing, it's all there anyway. So whether you're doing music, things visually come in and the way the world sounds and the way the world looks and the way the world feels. Some of my pieces are actually interactive. I actually want the people to open the triptychs and open and close the doors and, and get involved with the pieces. It almost becomes like a little performance piece, watching the people discover uh, how the piece works and how it opens and closes and becomes something different and how they share it with each other. Like, I like, I like how, if you look at it this way, it's cool, but if you look at it that way, it's also cool. You know what I mean? You make art to see people's reactions, really. To see them react and try to bring out some of their emotion and for them to understand how you're feeling, too. I need to feel like I'm, I'm creating something that I want people to see before I even think about, you know, that whole interaction process of them viewing it. Well, I like being able to, to uh, talk to people and see how they're responding to it. And then, then go into the discussion about what I was thinking. Because I want them to have a, an impression of the piece before they get my ideas about what the piece is about. And we all bring our own baggage to, to viewing anything. And I need to be able to have, them, have that happen without my influencing it beyond what I already did. With David's work, with the boats, people see it as an individual boat and then they discover that it's in the shape of one large boot. And to see how everyone interacts that way is very special. And with Jackie's work, the same thing. People discover different things. They find the little keys. They read the title of the piece, and all of a sudden they find out it's about um, Alice in Wonderland. And then the piece becomes something entirely different. And so in a group show like this, the work all feeds off each other. Art is a visual language. So I'm trying to communicate something without, um, without words that hopefully people uh, get a new understanding of something from that. And I believe that's, I wholeheartedly believe that's possible.